So this movie brings together all of our favourite Marvel characters in one gigantic film. I would love to know what your funniest or most memorable moment from making it together was. One of the most impressive moments actually was uh, working with Josh and uh, everyone, he was being pulled and pushed and punched and all sorts while speaking at the same time, while wearing the most ridiculous costume I've ever seen. He essentially wears like a... Uh, uh, an American football, what are they called? The pads? And a helmet with a tennis ball on the top and he's standing on a podium and he's got these big arms that he has to hold on to. Like, he looks ridiculous, but he was so cool in how he did it and he was so strong and so awesome. Um, so for me, that was the, one of the coolest moments. Who's the funniest on set? Pratt. Chris Pratt is just too funny. Like, too funny. And I don't mean that in a way, I just, he, Sometimes I can't work with him because he makes me laugh too much and we can't get my close-up. Yeah, he's hilarious. I'm so happy to know he's exactly how you'd imagine him to oh, be. Oh, he 100% <laughs> is. He's even more so. You know how you like see someone, you imagine what they'll be like? He's that version. I'm just going on set going and seeing set. everybody, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and kind of looking left and right and, and, and just, you know, pinching yourself going, is this real that all these people are here all at once? <laughs> and seeing, the meet, seeing people meeting up as well who mm. perhaps didn't know each other or... I mean, I certainly met people I'd admired from afar, from other films. Josh Brolin plays Thanos with such extraordinary relish. And he said to me that he was having more fun than he's ever had as an actor. He genuinely was having the time of his life. And I'm excited mm. to see how that transmits in, in his performance. I've heard he looked quite hilarious on set. He looks rather like Mark Ruffalo looks when he's playing the Hulk, which is wearing a kind of uh, chessboard onesie. Looks very comfortable, very stretchy. And I think, does Tom Holland also wear the same chessboard onesie? Yep, they're yeah. both playing chess on each other's some of us, Some of us get leather and metal and other of us get chessboard onesies. So we're expecting some huge action scenes, obviously. Um, do you each have a favourite stunt or move you had to learn for the film? They let my guy reincorporate some of his knife skills back from, from the Winter Soldier movie. That was kind of fun to do. I don't know if it's made it into the film, but that was kind of fun. I just have to do one arm movement with the gauntlet, you, you're Boom. dead, <laughs> not much. <And> that's it. <laughs> yeah. So I also wanted to talk to you about the big New York action scene that we see, saw in the preview where uh, Spider-Man joins the fight with Iron Man and Doctor Strange. Could you talk us through what that was like to film? Well, for me, that was an interesting part of the filming process because all of my stuff there is done on a mocap stage. Um, so it was just me by myself working with uh, Anthony Russo, who was there with me that day working. And they show you like a, a previous clip of what is going on, and then you try and reenact it in the best way you can and add your own sort of twist to it. And uh, yeah, it was pretty fun because when you're working with mocap, they can make you do amazing things. Like, I'm not that flexible, but they made my leg do that which is amazing. Um, so yeah, so that whole sequence for me was all a mocap stage. And how long does something like that take to film? I have to give credit to the artists who do the CGI on these movies, you know? I think they employ like thousands of people. I don't know how much it is. Thousands might be too many, but I know it's a lot. And they have to draw every single detail into these films to make us look fantastic. So it's kind of a great, I have, a, I have to, I owe a lot to them, you know, because they're really the ones that do it, and I know it takes a long time. So everyone's talking about what might happen in this top secret next film. What's the weirdest fan theory you've heard? The Soul Gem is something of a mystery to me, and people keep saying that the Soul Gem is a person, and I don't know the answer to the question, but that's the only one I'm interested in. I saw a couple of things where people were like, is Captain America the Soul Stone? But I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know where the Soul Stone is, but that was an interesting one, I think. That is interesting. That is an interesting one. Yeah, I saw a couple of people say that the other day. So people are also talking about if any of our favourite characters might die in this one. Right. If you had to pick a way for Spider-Man to have a death scene, how would you like to see him go? I want it to be dramatic. I want it to be emotional. I want the whole audience weeping. <laughs> so however we do that, that's what's going to have to happen.